Hey guys, it's Shay, and today I'm doing the Winterlicious tag. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into everything. The first question is favorite winter nail polish. Um, my favorite winter nail polish is Signed in One by Finger Paints, and it's this really, really pretty deep wine red. I absolutely love it. Um, every time I paint my nails a different color, it's only on there for like maybe at most three days, and then I take it off and then put this back on my nails. Like, I just, I love this color. I just love it. Plus, red is my favorite color in general. Um, that could be it. But, yeah, this has been my favorite one to wear all season, and I'm, I'm in love with it. Next question is favorite winter lip product. That would be, um... From Revlon, it is Revlon Matte Why Not, and it is a deep, deep, deep wine red. I absolutely love it. Um, I love wearing this. It makes, I mean, you, I mean, oh, I just can't even explain. Go get this lipstick. I love it. Um, it's very dark, but it's kind of so deep towards almost more of a purple than a red but I absolutely I absolutely absolutely love it and um, I've been wearing this also a lot and I wore it in my tattoo tag video um, I absolutely love the color absolutely love it adore it and if you are ever at some place where they sell Revlon lipsticks buy this the next question is most worn winter clothing piece. That, my lovelies, would be this button down shirt from Hollister. Um, it's very Christmassy. I actually bought this back in October, September, I think. Um, but yeah, I didn't even realize how Christmassy it was until. Um, I actually just put it on one day and I was just like, hmm. That's very festive, but yeah, I've worn I I've worn this so many times, um, just in the past month, and since it is very festive and it's very casual, and it's so easy to dress up and dress down, that's a wonderful thing about Hollister. Um, but since it is so easy to dress up and dress down, I'll definitely keep wearing this, and. I don't know if I'll ever stop wearing this. This ha probably has become my new favorite clothing piece in general. And Hollister, you've done it again. The next question is most worn winter accessory. Okay. This accessory is my holy grail of all accessories. I do not and will not walk out of the house without wearing this. I can't and I've worn it every single well almost every single day since I bought it um when did I get it 2011 I'm not sure if it was in the spring or fall um, I think it was in the spring of 2011 um, spring semester I just moved down to Chattanooga and I had ordered some things from glamourkills.com I love their website I will link it down below um, and I seen this beanie and I had to have it and it's actually um, made by Alex the lead singer from all time low love them love him he's a hottie and um, yeah I don't go anywhere without this beanie I absolutely love it it's purple and <laughs> I remember like whenever I first started wearing it like people were just like do you have that beanie in any other color and I was just like no are you in any other color okay then but yeah I love it their symbol is a flying pig and I think that is so cute and you can see Alex's name is in there but yeah I love this beanie I cannot leave the house without it. Anytime, anytime I leave the house without a beanie in general, my head feels naked. Um, I can't, I cannot leave the house without something on my head, whether, you know, it be a ponytail or it be a beanie or a headband or something. I need something in my hair. I just can't walk out 
all naked. Well, I mean, I could walk out naked, but I can't walk with my head naked. No dice. Next question is favorite winter scent or candle? I'm so upset because um, I actually just ran out of this. Um, I haven't had the chance to buy a whole bunch of new candles because, you know, I just moved into this apartment and this scent actually a friend of mine turned me on to. I thought I was going to hate it because he's a guy and guys are not good at picking out scents for girls but he had said that he loved this scent so I had to go and buy it and I got it in the wallflower um kind but the scent is marshmallow fireside and dear sweet heavens it is the best smell I've ever smelled in my entire life it's like meth but in a scent God, I can't get enough of it. Yeah, I have to go get another one. Right now, um, my mom's asking me what I want for Christmas. And so, um, I'm, I, don't, I don't even know what I want for Christmas. I never think about it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sadly out of my marshmallow fire side wallflower. So, my room smells like a room and not like a wonderful beautiful not by the bonfire roasting marshmallows and weenies and telling ghost stories and making out with your wonderful good-looking male friend but yes favorite favorite scent I absolutely love it favorite winter beverage my favorite winter beverage has been and will for always be eggnog everyone that has done this tag has you know talked about drinks from Starbucks and da, da, da. first of all I'm a college kid so I'm too broke for Starbucks okay I'll you know my my version of Starbucks is going into the kitchen and you know making the Starbucks coffee that comes in little packets and hopefully it tastes kind of good but it doesn't it tastes nowhere near the actual Starbucks but Yes, I love eggnog, and it's always sold out no matter where I go. Because whenever I went grocery shopping a couple weeks ago, I was looking for eggnog, and it was nowhere to be found. I was very upset. Um, next question is, all-time favorite Christmas holiday movie. It's a tie between It's a Wonderful Life and the original A Christmas Carol. I have to watch those two movies every year or else it is not Christmas. So if I miss a year of watching those two movies, Christmas never happened in my book. December never came. Sorry, didn't happen. But I love those movies. I remember I watched It's a Wonderful Life. Um, I, can't, I think it was my sophomore year, my French class. And... Um, I loved it. I thought I was going to hate it because, you know, whenever you watch movies at school, they're like a hit and miss. This one was a hit and I absolutely loved it. Um, and A Christmas Carol, I remember I watched the original at a Girl Scout camping trip one time up in the cabin during the Christmas season. And I love the original more than I love any other remake. Speaking of remake, the Disney's A Christmas Carol, when I went to go see that, that was scary as shit, okay? Whenever the ghost of Christmas Future or whatever came, it was so scary. I was just like, this movie's for kids? I was like, that that scared me. But yeah, original C Christmas Carol and It's a Wonderful Life, absolutely loved it. Favorite holiday song? Same as my movies, it will and forever be a Christmas. No, Carol the Bells. Sorry, I'm just getting excited about Christmas movies now. But Carol the Bells is my all time favorite Christmas song. Um, I can listen to it every day, all day, and I love um, the version by Trans Siberian Orchestra. They do so many great covers. It is ridiculous. But yes, I absolutely love um, Carol of the Bells. It is my all-time favorite Christmas song. Favorite holiday, food or treat? 
I actually have that right now because I just bought it. Um, I absolutely love sugar cookies and I love making sugar cookies and I love getting cookie cutters and making them into fun little cute shapes and then eating all three dozen by myself. <clears throat> it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I want to make these now actually. Hmm. Next question. What is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? Okay. Since we just moved, Mother informed me that she threw out all of our Christmas decorations. So, other than my Christmas tree, we didn't really have anything. And, and other than like a few stockings. But we don't really have anything. And so, while I was cleaning up and, you know, still unboxing things. We moved here back in August. And it's December and I'm still unpacking. This should tell you how much... I'd like to watch Netflix but I was unboxing things and I came across this little wonderful chocolate man and I had never seen him before and now he sits on this little table thing that we have out in um, the foyer um, right whenever you walk in you get to see a little black Sandy Claus and um, I know black isn't traditional, but it's traditional in our family. As far as, you know, I was raised, Jesus is black, God is black, and Santa is black. But I think that he is so totally cute, and I love walking by him every single day. And I'm so happy that I found him. He's a wonderful miniature chocolate nugget, and I love him. Okay. Next question, what is the top of your wish list? Hmm. A gift card to Bath and Body Works, a gift card to Walgreens so I can buy more makeup and other goodies, and these Shaney Cosmetics makeup brushes. It may be Shaney, it may be Shaney, don't really care. I like their stuff, but it's their pack of makeup brushes it's red and I think it's like a 25 pack and I really really want it and Bath and Body Works I want the gift card there so that way I can go and buy some wonderful new smelly good stuff and to Walgreens it's so I can get more makeup um, I'm in the process of going through all of my makeup and throwing out things that I've had for a good minute now and so it would be nice to be able to because like I'm very weird about the way that I do things like I cannot um like I can't I can't buy new things until I clean out old things but I can't clean out old things until I buy new things so I have to like do it like right in the middle so like I have to like throw away a whole bunch of stuff and then go to the store and then buy more stuff and just kind of like buy an excess so that way you know I have everything else but I definitely need to go and try out some new products at the drugstore. Um, like I said, I'm on a college kid budget, so this NARS, MAC, Chanel nonsense, it ain't gonna happen, okay? Um, I know that a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube um, can go out and buy those cosmetics, but I can't. I'm a college kid and I'm broke. So if you're a college kid also, you understand what it's like. You know, dinner is always fast food or noodles. So yeah and the last question is what are your plans for the holidays this year not a damn thing I am queen of the hermits going out to get the mail and taking out the trash feels like a full day of errands I love being home and um, so do my friends so we're all a whole bunch of homebodies who like to converse and hang out over the internet. There will be some rare occasions where we get together and hang out, but that's only whenever, you know, we actually want to leave the house, which is very rare. Um, but um, I actually have a plan for the New Year's. I've, this is the earliest I've ever had a plan for the New Year's. And what I'm going to do is watch the series marathon of the walking dead on amc if you have not watched that show there is something wrong with you um and if you have watched it and you don't like it again there is something wrong with you but 
I'll be watching that marathon and I'll make a big huge pile on the floor and I will order three pizzas from Domino's, get some junk food, and I will sit there and bask in the wonderfulness that is pizza and zombies. So that is all for the Winterlicious tag and I tag you to do this and please leave it as a video response because I want to know. I'm a nosy Nancy and I have no shame. So um yeah that's it y'all have a great time i'm sorry this video is so long but what can you do bye